Exoplanets, distant galaxies, gigantic black holes, and blazing stars are just a few of the wonders of the cosmos just waiting to be discovered. Space exploration, on the other hand, is beset by a snag. Deep space is a long way from somewhere you wish to go. For example, Elon Musk wants to place humans permanently on Mars, whereas NASA wants to send astronauts there. Even with the world's most powerful rocket, a voyage to Mars will take at least five months for everyone who wants to go there. It would be great if we could move across space faster. Because the next star is nearly 4.5 light years away, it's impossible to visit with existing space technology. However, an accidental discovery promises to solve this difficulty by permitting faster than light travel. What has been found? What impact does it have on space flight, and how do you feel about it? The first warp bubble was discovered by mistake by NASA scientists. For even more information, stay tuned to this video. Fans of the Star Trek series are no strangers to warp travel. In the Star Trek universe, which has spanned 10 television series and 13 films since the first episode aired in 1966, the warp drive is one of the most endearing futuristic inventions. The characters in the series travel the universe in fast and powerful spaceships, conversing with an extraterrestrial crew as they go from planet to planet. For the story to be believable, the torsion engine must be present. Even if you desire to travel to the next star, the vast distances between stars provide an almost insurmountable obstacle. 4.5 light years away from us, we'll check out Proxima Centauri. So every other way takes more time since light travels at its full cosmic pace and functions as a type of universal speed cap. Using the fastest space probe ever developed for the interstellar emptiness, travel would take over 8,000 years. In reality, because of this, it makes sense to remain on Earth and its surrounding area. It was obvious that the Star Trek crew had found a solution, so they left the planet. Long distance travel is made possible by cutting down on the time and expense of the trip. Using warp drive technology, the torsion engine juggles space and time, resulting in amazing entertainment. A scientist towards the end of the 20th century realized that a warp drive engine was actually viable, and the concept of a warp drive was born. In 1994, Alcubierre was working on his PhD in Einstein's general theory of relativity when he saw an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation when he was studying how heavy masses might alter space and time. On a scrap of paper, Alcubierre calculated the math for an article that would appear in a science publication later that year as the result of his work. You can compress space and time in front of the spaceship and extend it back behind the ship so that you have to travel a considerably smaller distance to the target destination, safely ensconced by what Alcubierre called a torsion bubble in his research report. A surfer riding a wave is widely used as a metaphor to depict how the ship may go through space. However, Alcubierre's warp bubble has a flaw. The warp engine itself is difficult to construct in reality. To bend space, you require exotic matter with negative gravity, which is impossible to create using only standard mass. Warp engines were the subject of numerous papers in subsequent decades, but they remained theoretical exercises and thought experiments that changed formulations of the theory of relativity in order to discover new insights. That is, until Eric Lentz, an American physicist working in the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, stepped in to fill the gap. He grew up on Star Trek, and the warp drive stuck with him, and he's been mulling over ways to bring it to life ever since. Despite the fact that he found Alcubierre's professional piece fascinating even as a teenager, Lentz continued to read warp drive publications even after beginning his career as a physicist. However, throughout the months of COVID lockdown, he returned to his previous interests and hobbies. When he realized that everyone had missed something, he was overcome with emotion. According to Alcubierre's research, there must be the simplest solution to the theory of relativity's formulations. The Alcubierre engine, a warp bubble fueled by immense negative gravity, was the consequence of this approach. With little experimentation, Lentz discovered that he could also answer formulas using some of the more strange mathematics. The mass of Lentz's torsion bubble was concentrated in the areas with the greatest curvature, but this isn't the most essential aspect. Anyone can create their own bubble with common household items. Nothing in the way of Stranger Things was necessary. This had never been done before, and Lentz was startled by it. A thousand times smaller than the sun, you still need a vast amount of kilos for the Lentz engine. But because you require a mass a thousand times less than the sun, it's more manageable. Warp bubbles may have been written off as a science fiction concept that would never materialize, but an accidental finding is reigniting interest in this phenomenon, and it might be a game changer. DARPA and NASA's Johnson Space Center might have accidentally found how to manufacture a warp engine drive using a joint research study. Researchers at NASA's Eagle Works Laboratory in Houston, Texas published a report in July regarding the probable structure of the energy density in a Casimir cavity. 
According to the research, the EagleWorks team discovered a micro nanoscale system that accurately forecasts the distribution of negative energy density. Or to put it another way, Dutch physicist Henrik Casimir's energy distribution hypothesis led White and his colleagues to construct an unintentional microcosmic experiment. Experimentation yielded enough theoretical energy to enable Alcubierre's theory of warp speed. A rigorous numerical analysis of our Casimir cavities enabled us to uncover a real, manufacturable nano-microstructure that is projected to yield negative vacuum energy density, White said in an interview with Wired, referring to their custom-made Casimir cavities. Even still, under these particular circumstances, a true warp bubble structure will appear. This solution has been derided for its use of theoretical materials and massive amounts of energy that appeared to be virtually impossible to engineer in any practical way, and White was aware of this. Alcobierre's proposed solution to the warp drive is mathematically valid, and it can traverse the cosmos overpowering the speed of light without violating currently accepted laws of physics. As a result of this, White, an ex-NASA warp drive specialist and creator of the highly regarded Eagle Works Laboratory, modified Alcobierre's metric and placed it into a canonical form, which is now widely accepted. Original thoughts of exotic materials and energy use were drastically lowered as a result of this design adjustment. Scientists and sci-fi lovers alike were encouraged by this new take on the warp drive concept, which was tweaked from the original. A name change was also made to the original theoretical design, which is now more popularly known as the Alcobierre White Warp Drive. White's newest DARPA-funded research into tailored Casimir cavities, a unique microscale structure with a wide range of interesting applications, was a complete surprise to him. At least in the past, Casimir cavities and the intriguing quantum scale forces had no connection to warp drive theory and mechanics. The DARPA-funded research, however, is something White and the LSI team are excited about and believe has a variety of potential uses. When performing his Casimir cavity study, one of a handful of engineers on the planet who would recognize what he was looking at immediately noticed a star startling similarity between his warp drive passion project and his current research, an observation that could otherwise have gone unnoticed. To our knowledge, White and his team's discoveries are the first to suggest an achievable nanostructure that is expected to manifest an actual warp bubble in peer-reviewed literature. As a result of this fortunate discovery, researchers may now begin to plan for a design and construction of a real-world warp-capable spacecraft. This validates the warp bubble's expected toroidal structure and negative energy features. A negative vacuum energy density distribution, comparable to that necessary for an Alcubierre space warp, is generated by White's proposed structure, which he says we may submit to the community. White and his colleagues have submitted a concept for a testable nanoscale warp drive craft in order to further examine its remarkable result and carry the study forward. A 1 micron diameter sphere in a 4 micron diameter cylinder was the original experiment White's team was working on. Analysis of the data revealed a Casimir energy density in three dimensions that match up with Alcubierre's warp metric specifications. The holy grail of Star Trek, a real if lowly warp bubble, may be found using chip scale research according to White, who believes that these studies might be carried out in an effort to measure little signs. For an LCBS space warp, a negative vacuum energy density distribution is what he proposes the community employ this potential structure to generate. Nanoscale warp craft design is something that White and his team have not yet attempted to build or test. However, he did mention that at some future point, the LSI team could employ a NanoScribe GT 3D printer that prints at a nanometer scale. Because they're so focused on custom Casimir cavities right now, White believes that's a bummer for Star Trek fans who want this to happen. While the planned nanoscale warp craft is now out of reach for White and his team, they have sketched a second testable experiment that includes connecting a number of these Casimir-created warp bubbles in a chain-like arrangement. Using this design, scientists can learn more about the mechanics of the existing warp bubble structure and how a craft can travel through real space inside one in the future. White's reluctance to develop models of the nanoscale warp drive is not surprising. There's no way that DARPA will fund the LSI Eagle Warp Lab's research on Casimir cavities, regardless of how interesting it might be to know an accidental warp bubble. On the other hand, White feels it's only a matter of time before he or other researchers develop and test his mini warp craft. However, White quickly points out that this does not mean we are near creating a fully operational warp drive, as much more science is needed to be done. Humans may one day be able to travel through space in a star Star Trek style warp bubble, but it's unlikely to be soon. Comment here and let us know what you think of the warp drive. As always, we'll see you again on the following video.